So what does Rothschild mean? Like in Baron the Rothschild. Well, it doesn't have anything to do with the child. It's a German name. And Roth, it means red, as you can see here. And Schild is like the English word a shield. A Templar's shield, you know, to protect himself. So the red shield, you can see it here. It's Swiss. And during the Thirty Year War, the Swiss mercenaries under Templar's leadership, they murdered about 20 million Germans. 20 million. And whole towns disappeared from the face of the earth. So they settled it um, into the south of Germany, where the Rothschilds came from. And they are Swiss. I mean, the banks are Swiss anyway. The banks are from the Templars. I don't even think the guy's Jewish or something. It's Swiss. Well, here it is again, the official logo of the Swiss Keepers of the Oath, it says in four different languages. Well, here is your Rothschild. So the name is Rothschild. Okay. Well, here is your Rothschild, a red shield or Rothschild on the Swiss Embassy in Moscow, in Russia. The Templar's Shield. Rothschild in the embassy, at the embassy in London. Swiss Embassy in Libya. Even in Muslim countries they show the, the red shield or the, uh, the Templar's Shield. Well the Muslims must like that, a Templar's Shield in their country. Swiss Embassy in Kosovo, another Muslim country with a Templar's Shield. So this name here has nothing to do with a child. It's shield, and it means, like in English, a shield. And the Roth, it's Old German, meaning red. So if you take away the H, it's like New German, still being used today. And they came from Germany. So the name is German, and I just showed you where the, where the shields are today. You know, the keepers of the oath, they call themselves. And the banks are there, the Templars, the power. The name is Switzerland. It's just another name for the Templars. The Red Child. Um, shield, I'm sorry. The Red Shield. Right? So no child, eh? The Red Shield. There it is. So don't say Rothschild anymore. Say Red Shield.